What's up, everybody? This is the Jedi. Greetings to all of you, wherever you may be watching and listening to me from. I want to say that I love and miss you all. And I want to say thank you to the nearly, well, last time I looked at it, it was nearly 4,000 people who had viewed between the two channels, uh, Jedi Africa and the Jedi. Um, the video that I did about the speech given by Tyler Perry at the rally in Atlanta for Kamala Harris. Um, and then when I got my analytics, 96% of people who watched those videos or, between the two channels were brand new people. Only 4% of the viewership was from people who were already regular viewers of, of my channels and subscribers to me. I also want to say welcome and thank you to all of the new subscribers to both the channels as well. <clears throat> welcome to the channels. I am the Jedi. Um, whichever channel you're watching this on right now, this icon on your screen is the icon that I use for my uh, channel. Um, the Jedi and then on Jedi Africa there's an actual picture of me as the icon for the channel why I'm here now everybody is because I wanted to be live with you there's so many things that I wanted to uh, make my contribution to but out of nowhere my webcam is not working I've been through everything and without it I don't have a microphone and of course I don't have a camera so I'm still endeavoring to see if maybe I can just, if it's some kind of a fluke or some kind of setting is off or something. Um, but if not, I'll just have to get another webcam. Um, but that's why I'm not live with you now and why I haven't been live with you um, for how long it's been now. Um, and I don't know if I will have everything rectified by the 5th, which you know is election day, and I have proclaimed for the last several years that Kamala Harris sadly will not be winning the presidential election, that it will be the orange puff. Um, I'm also saddened that I have not been able to get out of here and get back to Gambia uh, before all of this. Um, I was intending to be out of here in November, but that is not the will of God, obviously. Um, so I just wanted to put this out just so that you would know what was going on and why you have not seen me. I'm also, it also precludes me from doing recorded videos because I don't have a microphone to feed my audio into my system so like when I do recorded videos um, you like with the last video the Tyler Perry thing I, I'm playing the video but you hear me I'm speaking and commentating over it and so I'm not even able to do that um, yeah I don't know what the answer is man um, other than getting a damn another damn webcam I really didn't want to do that because my webcam I appreciate it because it's it helps me out like I'm not a model and um, so that camera actually assists in my overall look just being totally transparent with you and um, you know if I get another one it's gonna be all HD and it'll just be like oh my god I can't um, so I, I don't know what's gonna happen but obviously I can't go forever without being able to have what I need to in, in order to produce content, you know, both live and recorded. Um, yeah, man. And also, I'm still um, been very consumed, as I said to you all, um, with trying to help our sister and my godson who live in North Carolina and they are homeless. Um, I've been doing everything that I can 
but I'm alone and by myself. I've reached out to you all, my viewers, and um, it's as if I didn't say it. You know, I just pray that you're not homeless one day and, um, and in a situation where no one will help you, you know. I was homeless back in the, in the late 80s, late 80s, late 80s, in late 80s, early 90s, um, if memory serves me. You know, I was homeless and um, it's a very lonely experience. Um, you know, you really understand how disappointing humanity in this country can be. People, um, with their petty selfishness don't want to help you, you know, and, um, it's, it's a very lonely, lonely place to be in. Um, luckily for me, it was just a matter of me finding a job, you know? And, um, but in the interim, there I was homeless. I was sleeping in my car. And that has its own set of um, danger and fear. Um, where do you park for the night? Um, where can you feel safe, even in a car, you know? And um, then there was some uh, couch surfing, as they call it, you know? People would let you maybe come and stay for a night or two, sleep on the floor someplace or something like that. It was tough, man. It was tough. But I don't need someone to be homeless in order for me to, to feel a, a sense of responsibility to help. Um, I'm the first one to leap forward to help anyone that's in need. It's, it's something I even live for. The feeling of that is so gratifying and the reward, because if you're able to affect someone else's life in a positive way that delivers them out of their predicament, then it's, it's, it's euphoric. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it, you know. So, as I said then, I said to you all, as always, I always tell you my, my. I didn't want to set up a separate cash app and a separate GoFundMe for this. I have those things set up already, and I said to you, if you wanted to to um, offer something, you could either put it on the GoFundMe or you could put it on the cash app, and you could just put a little note that this is for our sister, you know, um, she's someone that has, uh, I've known since 2015, um, uh, follows me on social media. That's how we met. And we have had a, a friendship since, since I actually since 2014, really, because even, and how I know that is because when Farrakhan had his 10, 10, 15 March, you'll recall, um, this was back when I had my large channel and I was still trying to form the Black Independence Liberation League for our people. And one of the things that I did when I knew about this 10, 10, 15 March, because I had been trying to recruit particularly brothers because sisters were coming out of the woodwork. No problem. As you always do. But I needed the brothers to step up. And um, so I was doing everything to, to, to reach out to brothers and to recruit other brothers. And among them was, I had people, among them was this sister who was going to be going to the 10, 10, 15 March in Washington, D.C. I printed up thousands of flyers and Various people who were followers of mine, I sent, I, I FedExed um, stacks of these flyers to them to hand out at this march. And this sister was one of those people. So this is how long I've known her. And um, we've had a very personal relationship over the years. Um, you know, many 
um, days and nights and hours of phone calls and Skyping and um, Zoom calls and things like that. So this is not someone who's a stranger, you know. I just have not said her name because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to further injure her, you know, or cause her any public embarrassment, you know. Um, but the situation is dire, everybody. And uh, while we all have our own issues in our lives, and probably none of us is wealthy, united we are wealthy. I've preached this till I'm blue over the years. There's nothing as a people that we can't do when we're united. That's just what it is. Even you look at what's happening in Gaza. One person can't do but you have thousands of people across the earth, many hundreds of thousands, probably millions now, I would dare to say even that are marching and protesting. You've got students on campuses and things like that. There's a unified voice now of many. So whereas one person standing outside of something screaming free Palestine won't may, may not do anything, the unity of millions will move something. It's a simple concept. So... Just as it takes many bricks to build a building or many pieces of steel or glass, it becomes a magnificent structure when it's all done. If we all do what we can, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to lift this sister out of her predicament in a meaningful way. You know, back even during, uh, I feel like it was during COVID, there's a sister, I still don't know who she is who reached out to me on Instagram, a place I'm rarely on, reached out to me on Instagram and said that her and her, I think she had a daughter, were in dire straits. I didn't, I didn't give her the Spanish Inquisition. I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know anything. Wallahi, I swear by, I swear by Allah. She expressed her need, and boom, I sent her everything that I could send her. My reward is with the divine. That's it. And then I reached out to some of my people on Instagram and said, listen, how do I send a mass uh, uh, message out to people who follow me on Instagram? Because I don't know how Instagram works. And I wanted to try to get some of my people who follow me on Instagram to, to help this sister out. And all praise is due to Allah. People stepped up. And we were able to do something for that, for that sister. I, again, I still, don't know. <laughs> I still don't know who she is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I do remember Miss Matthews was one of, was one was one of the first people that I reached out to, and Miss Matthews was all over it. Um, and, but like I said, I don't remember who the sister was. But anyway, um, so that that's still a, a a a live situation, everybody. And there's a whole nother backstory that's going on because it's ah my goodness. Anyway, um. The, the situation is still active. So if you are so inclined, please do step up and let us do something to help this queen and um, and her seven-year-old son, who happens to be my godson as well. Um, I will be with you um, as soon as I can, um, just depending on my technology. Like I say, um, I'd like to try and get my camera working again um if it's possible i have had it for many years so maybe it just maybe it has just given out you know i don't know but that's certainly a possibility um and also if worse comes to worse you know i may have to do just recorded videos like from my tablet or something like that um i did those for a while um at various stages you know, over the years when it, there, when I had no other choice and things like that. So, um, I am looking to engage with you guys, um, as soon as I can and particularly live. And, you know, I, I really, I can do live from my, my phone or my tablet and stuff like that. I can do lives from that. 
Um, again, I hate the camera, but um, I'm willing to make the sacrifice. The only thing is, is when I do lives from my devices, I don't have any way to present uh, multimedia to you. I, I'm not able to present an article or a video clip to you. You know, it's not possible. Um, I have to have my PC for that. So, um, today is Saturday. I will be, I'll be making a decision, a, a decision uh, between now and tomorrow, um, just because most of the day has gotten away from me now. Um, but I'll be making a decision between uh, today and tomorrow to possibly try to uh, present myself to you all um, tomorrow. Um, again, I want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers on Jedi Africa and to the Jedi. Um, if you're watching me on either channel and you're not subscribed to both channels, then I invite you to do subscribe to both channels. I will try to put the link for, if you're on the Jedi channel, I'll try and put the link for Jedi Africa in the description underneath the video. And if you're on Jedi Africa, I'll put the link for the Jedi channel underneath the description box of the video on that channel. <laughs> so that's what I'm planning to do. So this is just an update. I hope that you are all well, uh, as well as your loved ones, your families, and so forth. Um, again, um, I'm pleased to 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 know that um, everyone who I know um, that was in the affected area of the recent hurricanes um, came through it so I'm pleased about that um, and um, yeah so I just hope and pray that everyone is safe and sound and um, you know and that 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 calls to mind too you know you guys we're coming into the winter months we got to do something for the sister we got to do something. We got to do something. You know, I, I live in California and now it's at, we, you, you know, over the summer we were having 118 degree days, like something from hell. And now it's, we're getting into the lower six or the mid sixties. And that's being sustained longer, even after the sun comes up and things like that. So it's definitely turning, you know, and, um, so it's it's getting cold across the country you know we're going into the winter and so um if there's any other time you would sit back please don't sit back on this um i didn't want this to be long because i don't want to be a long transfer and an upload to 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 youtube so i'm gonna leave it here um i'm gonna do all the things that i said i'm gonna try to do so that I can be with you, be with you as soon as I can. And that could just possibly turn out to be as soon as tomorrow. But for now, I leave it here. I love you all. This is the Jedi.